for another session here. My name's Dave from Transfer Express, and I am joined by Jenna. Hey, everybody. I'm back for another session. I know you guys just saw me at the last one, but we're back, and I'm super excited to be joining Dave for this particular session because we are going beyond t-shirts. We sure are. I am so excited. We're going to talk, talk about decorating and selling hoodies and tote bags and towels and sweatshirts and jackets and pretty much a whole bunch of stuff that you could heat press. So we are going to talk about how to choose the best transfer for your product. And we're also going to talk about maximizing your profitability um, with these extra promo items at absolutely no added cost with our screen printed transfers here at Transfer Express. So, um, yeah, Jenna, are you ready? You got your heat press all, all set up, ready to go? Well, I, I do now. I was session. just thinking about it as you were talking. And I'm like, you know what? I think I need to dial my temperature back because the first product that I'm going to apply is going to be a special effect product that's much lower than what I had it set at. Um, but yes, as Dave mentioned, we are going to be talking about a lot of different products that you can heat press. The reason we like talking about this is because when people first start getting into heat printing, obviously the first thing that they want to start doing is t-shirts. And that is a great place to start. But as you start diving into t-shirts and really all of the profit opportunity that you have by reaching different markets with t-shirts, you will eventually start getting requests for oddball things if you're not already. Um, and it doesn't have to be so oddball in the fact that it's like, uh, a can koozie or something like that, even though you can do that. But a lot of other uh, popular apparel, there we go. Nice. <laughs> um, so a lot of other popular apparel styles include hoodies and jackets and sweatpants. And one thing um, that we love to talk about is all of the opportunity that you have by being able to print all of those other styles of apparel. So I'm going to hand it off to Dave here. He's going to talk to you about how you can uh, set yourself up for success by printing outerwear styles and fleece styles by showing you and demoing some hoodies and other styles alike. And then we will get a little more in depth on some of the accessories and go into printing some bags and unique items, all of which are extremely profitable. And we want you guys to take advantage of because they are super easy to heat press. As soon as you see it done, you're going to just, if you haven't seen it before or worked with it before, you're going to be a little bit mind blown. So that's why we're really excited for this class. So go ahead, Dave, you can go ahead and kick it off. We save the best for second to last, right? Because <laughs> I, I too am super excited. You talked about the profitability and that's something that uh, it not only is extra profit and extra items you could sell, but especially if you have like an Etsy store, being able to offer these products on your storefront uh, just is going to boost the overall awareness of your store on Etsy. Also, they're great to stock if you're doing any uh, any of those craft fairs or vendor uh, shows. It's just awesome to have some of these extra items. And like Jenna mentioned, all you need is a heat press. So all of this stuff you could decorate with a heat press. And you might notice I do have uh, a nice little fancy accessory here. It's called a mouse pad. So uh, with printing hoodies specifically, uh, you have a lot of seams to deal with. I um, mean, with custom screen printed transfers, at least is what I'm going to be showing you here today. Jenna will show you the vinyl and that awesome special effect. I don't want to spoil the surprise. You guys see it. Um, but with those, you need a firm pressure with the screen printed transfers. So something like a pillow doesn't necessarily uh, give you that firm pressure. While it does kind of mask the uh, seams and allows them to have a little bit of cushion, they do not give you that firm pressure with screen printed transfers. So I'm going to use this today to decorate on the front of a hoodie because we'll do a left chest and we'll do a back print. I'll also show you how you could add a whole bunch of extra value by printing on the sleeve as well. I've got awesome trendy samples that we've seen tons of here in 2021 that I want to show you. And of course, uh, if you are interested in any of this and you want some further learning, both Stalls TV on YouTube and the Transfer Express YouTube channel have tons of content that we're consistently updating that's built specifically to help you guys out. 
absolutely free. And that's one thing I absolutely love about the heat printing community is everybody sharing ideas and helping each other out. You see it from TikTok to forums and Facebook and even right on YouTube or here at this live event. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Um, and with that being said, let's take, if you joined us, join me earlier, if you joined, we've been here all day long and we're so glad that you guys are hanging around. But at my Easy View class, we worked on a custom gang sheet. So it might be a little hard to see in this light here, but this is the gang sheet that we worked on. We have artwork here at the top that we'll be putting on our left chest. This will be our full back print. Um, and then we also will put one of these right on the cuff, which is a super trendy spot to not only put branding, but also other decorations. So um, let's grab our hoodie. I've got an awesome, cool athletic raglan style here. Um, it is, I believe, an 8020 from Sport Tech. Uh, this heather gray and a nice navy. So we'll be printing yellow or maize and white here on the front and back. And we'll be printing a white just here on this blue sleeve. But behind me, uh, if you just came from the uh, heat press session, this is a Hotronics Auto Clamp. So it's what Kelly had. This is by far my favorite press, and it's what we have here in the Transfer Express Video Studio. So I already have this set up. If you are pressing along at home, we're using a goof-proof gang sheet that came in that marketing kit, the bundle marketing kit, and that's just an outrageous value. I think we still have just a few of them left for that super discounted event special price. So make sure you go and get those because uh, they're not going to last. And then when the price goes back up, they're back full price. So it is essentially a t-shirt business in a box. You get 40 plus custom transfer samples from HTV to screen printed transfers to effects, uh, ultra coach, tons of stuff in there, color selector guides, but I could go on and on about that, but that's not what this is about. Let's get this hoodie going. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take my hoodie and load it onto our heat press. Now, what I love, and I think Kelly mentioned it too, she had the counter caddy stand but I have the full caddy stand. So this goes to the floor, has wheels, rolls around, really, really handy to have. And it also makes the Hotronics Auto Clam 100% fully threadable. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bottom of the hoodie just like it's a pillow and load it onto our heat press. So you could kind of see from that angle, but right here we have the pocket seam. And so that's right at the back, that's gonna affect our pressure. Here we have the hood. Uh, and all the hood seams, and there's some fancy stitching here on this raglan cut that's also on the platen. This is the edge right here of the platen area. So we want to eliminate any of those weird pressure spots to have a nice long lasting transfer that's gonna look and feel and wear and wash just like a traditional screen print. So what we have to do is we'll pull our mouse pad like I talked about earlier. We have these available for sale for super, super cheap. And this is just a regular, I think, nine by 11 size or something. Um, so we could use this for decorating the left chest. Now, one handy tip, uh, if you're gonna be doing a lot of hoodies, you could get some extra platen. So a smaller platen would work so that you are only essentially printing the area between the pocket and the top of the hood. But especially when you're just starting your at-home business, and wanting to add these extra uh, pieces of apparel to your product line, you don't necessarily be wanting to spend a whole bunch of money on buying new platens or any accessories. So you could buy a mouse pad for $3, or even on Amazon, they make the big gaming mouse pads too, that you could cut to size. And when you're spending two, $3 or $5 on a giant mouse pad, you have absolutely no anxiety just taking scissors to it and cutting it to the shape that you need. So without further ado, I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna roll it up and place it right here inside the hood. So I'm just gonna place it approximately where a left chest is and make sure I'm away from all the seams as much as we can. So here we are, nice and centered, and I know my garment's centered onto the heat press as well. So before we do anything else, I wanna pre-press this to remove any moisture from this garment and give us a nice, smooth, flat, even printing surface to adhere our transfer to. So we'll just go ahead and make sure it's about in the right spot. Um, and always for a left chest print, we're gonna go from the top uh, seam where the seam meets. It's a little bit different on a raglan hoodie, but where the seam meets the edge of the collar and we'll go straight down, okay? So you can kind of see this on me. I'll demonstrate on me because it looks different flat than it does in person. So here, right from the top, we'll go straight down. And then 
you're going to go about just a quarter up from this seam to right here where it meets. Now that is also about four inches down uh, from the collar. So I'm using four fingers here and boom, that's going to put us right there. So I'm going to do the same thing right here on our weapon. But let's pre-press this first. Now, when we're pre-pressing, we want to make sure that our pressure and settings all line up. So we'll push this down. We have our good pressure setting, um, and we are at a long 15 second, 12 to 15 seconds because of the polyester content. I don't want to scorch this with the goof proof transfer that I'm going to use. That's going to apply uh, regularly at 365. Now, those are the cotton instructions. So... When you're using any poly content and you're worried about scorching on the apparel, that's why goof proof could go down as low as 325. Now, especially heat sensitive polyesters, the real athleisure uh, hoodies, those 100% poly like fashion fit ones, those are probably gonna scorch with a goof proof, but a nice 80, 20 blend in this, it's gonna be absolutely fine. Um, and so once we're pre-pressed, everything looks good. The pressure looks good. We have our print area here. Let's go ahead and grab our transfer. So I'm going to be using this nice, uh, let's see if I could get that to work. There we go, Outdoors and S'mores graphic. So it's white and maize like we talked about earlier. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get it aligned exactly in that placement that we talked about. So I'm gonna go about four fingers down from the seam and then trace to about where the middle of the shirt is. So that's gonna put us right about here. Let me check the top of our graphic. Um, and one thing, when you're doing left chest prints, just beginning out, you want to err on the side of the center of the garment. Nobody wants to wear a print that's in the armpit, but when something's a little bit more centered, it looks a lot better. So right here, we're at the top of our seam because the raglan cuts in a little lower. We'll go straight down. Maybe we can move this over even just a hair this way. And we're ready to press. So goof proof at 325 is going to apply between 12 to 15 seconds. So we'll go ahead and press this now. As you can see, this printing area is raised above from everywhere else that has a seam. So we'll go ahead and press this. Oops, I moved my transfer. <laughs> and we'll get this going. Of course, uh, I heard them mention thermal tape. Uh, and when you're, when you're kind of weary about placement on any style of garment, it's great to tape it, put it on and see where it actually fits on you. So that is a, uh, a big portion of making sure your placement is spot on and correct. So let's press this one. 12 to 15 seconds, and we'll let the timer go on down. Now, of course, the Hotronics Auto Plan opens by itself, which is really cool, and one of my favorite features of the press. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's awesome. It is super, uh, not necessarily super affordable, but a press that you're never going to outgrow. So here, um, we're just going to peel this hot. Goof Proof appeals super hot, and we're all set there. Um, I do, just because I messed up the pressure a little bit, I'm going to pre-press this one one more time. Repress it one more time. I'm just trying to find a cover sheet. I want to make sure it's A-OK. -okay. And this is what we were talking about earlier when we talked about the importance of having these accessories on hand. So we talk a lot about craft paper but you can see Dave has a reusable cover sheet there that works just as well also. Absolutely. Now we press for all that long, peeled off, um, and we're ready to decorate the back. Front printed, we're gonna decorate the back. Now the, the back, we do not need the mouse pad, so we are all set with the mouse pad, and we'll pull this one back. Now we're gonna have to reset up this entire press here to try to get this off. Now printing on hoods on the back, that is a kind of tricky situation and it's going to differ based on if you are doing, uh, what size your graphic is. So we're gonna be using the large graphic that we used here. So the I'd rather be camping. And this one we're gonna print just a little bit down from the collar because if you wear a hoodie, 90% of the time you're wearing the hood down. So when the hood's down, you want to make sure that you're nice, free, and clear away from that. You're not covering up your beautiful graphic. So here, we're going to line this on here, our hood's up. We'll go five to six inches down from the collar, which is going to put us right on up here. And before we size it up or put it down, let's go ahead and check our pressure. Now that we're not using the mouse pad, this thing's got zero pressure.
So put it back, nice, firm pressure. So once we're all set, now we'll grab our transfer, replace it back down onto the garment and that nice five to six inches down. And of course, I'm just eyeballing it and making sure it's centered with the hood. This hoodie has some great seams on it to make sure that it is all set and centered. Makes it really helpful. So here, we're gonna press this again, 12 to 15 seconds with that medium to firm pressure. So a six to eight, sometimes even nine, um, should be A-OK, -okay, depending on the garment that you're printing. There's the beeps. Who proof is. I'm actually gonna put the pressure down a little bit more. Let's earn on light pressure. So we're just gonna press this one again. Um, and get that one nice in there. This was also the transfer that I was, was manhandling all day too in my other session. So I probably should have grabbed a new one, but in our marketing kit, we've only got one. Um, well, we got multiple goof proofs, but we have one of this one. I wanted to show you the same one. So it's felt the same. So here, once we're down. Hey, real quick, what's the brand of that hoodie? So what was that? What was the brand of that hoodie that you're heat pressing? This one that I am heat pressing here is a sport tech. Sport tech. So on the back, this print, nice and great. And even if you're wearing the hood down, of course, it's not going to be all the way, but it's going to be here. So it's just covering the top of the graphic. So it looks really, really cool. Now, the last thing I'm going to do on this hoodie before we toss it back over to Jenna is I want to put an impression onto the sleeve. So this is a great way to add value and get branding out there as well. And as we've seen this year, it's been increasingly more and more popular to see um, the kind of cuff print. I call it a cuff print. Do you have another word for it, Jenna, when you're printing down here? I would say cuff print too, but I really think just any extra branding that you can put on hoodies, especially the sleeve, is just really eye-catching. And people are Absolutely. like willing to pay more for that extra brand location. Absolutely. So I'm going to remove our quick slip pad protector, um, which is a great accessory to have for when you're threading garments onto the press. So here we go. We're going to take this and just place it over our press here. Now the quick slip pad protector is great, but it is called quick slip for a reason. So where this hoodie sleeve holds the rest of the hoodie up with the slippery pad protector um, that has this coating on it, it's not gonna stay on. So it slipped right off. So we're gonna go ahead and get this one ready to go. And I wanna lay it as flat as possible. Um, we kind of have our center seam uh, right down the side. So I'm actually gonna rotate this out. But hoodies are one of my favorite things, and especially as the, as the, as the temperatures grow a little bit colder here, at least in Ohio, um, it is definitely hoodie season in full swing. Um, and I just love wearing them. I know they are super popular. Um, and I, I know that we just did um, a video on our YouTube channel not too long ago um, about uh, crew necks growing in popularity too. So crew neck sweatshirts really, really growing in popularity. Um, these days. So it's really, really nice to have uh, a, a few different kind of fleece offerings in your online store. So I just wanted to reset this to get it off of the one seam that was on there. And we'll toss this back down. I'm just trying to get it as flat as possible of a printing area so we don't run into any seams or interference that's going to affect the way that this hoodie is pressed. So here we go. We'll just pre-press this, again, removing any moisture because each different location that we're printing has not been pre-pressed before. So just getting some of that moisture out of there. And I could actually feel a lot of moisture still in uh, that. So here we go. We'll use the uh, campground graphic that we have, Greenbelt Campground. We're going to go ahead and put this right down onto this sleeve. Put this one right close as we can. We're about an inch away from that, the edge of the cuff. And again, pressing for 12 to 15 seconds. Now, of course, this is the lower temperature of goof proof, but it could go up as high as 365. And that's where we'll run into that super production efficient 
uh, the four to six second press. And here with this one, we'll go ahead and peel away. And there we have it. A beautiful sleeve print right there. And now we have all of these print locations ready to go on the hoodie. Got the back, got the front, and of course, this nice trendy sleeve print as well. Now, Jenna did mention a few different items that you could print too, and the same principles are going to apply when you're using your heat press here. So um, I just wanna show you a few different uh, kind of trending uh, topics and uh, kind of styles that we've seen. So here, just something, this is something that you would see on Etsy using an inside tag, printing on this one, the comfort colors is a super premium. Now granted these blanks are a little bit more expensive than what you're used to, but this is a super premium, super comfy. Uh, I believe it is, um, I forgot the kind of dye that these are, but like the colorways that they have available are just absolutely awesome. They give you this spot that's not fleece, that you could print an inside tag and brand your own business. And of course, a small little minimalistic uh, cuff print on that one as well. We also have coming back in popularity are these awesome t-shirt hoodies. So they're usually a tri-blend or a 50-50 blend um, that come on these. They're just pretty much lightweight t-shirt material. Um, a little, little cold in Ohio for them now, but back in the spring, I bet they're coming back. Um, it, aside from those, uh, those hoodies, you could do the same exact thing that I just did with jackets too. So this is a cornerstone, heavyweight winter jacket that has a goof proof print right here on the left chest, as well as just like we saw it on the back, a little bit farther down. So the hood does not cover that. So just remember those placements when you are printing those styles. Another huge thing that's super popular is printing right here on the pocket itself, putting nice little decorations for this one, the lines of Newark have little kitty cat prints right there. Super cute. And the last one um, that I'm, I actually have one more, one more I'm going to show you after this one, a nice pocket print as well that has the number on it. Vikings, a nice football style. And of course, you could decorate the hood too, putting numbers on either side or even on the top, a nice little Viking there as well. All of this stuff adds value, especially when you're selling to a team and it's super unique. They love it. One last thing, now this is the last I'll show you, I promise, are the crop sweatshirts and hoodies. So this is a district uh, style. We have a full rundown of all of these current trends of these hoodies and sweatshirts, but you're going to apply these just the same way that you applied uh, any of the transfers on your heat press. Now, of course, if you have a smaller craft press, uh, it makes it super easy to dodge a lot of those seams, but you are limited in your graphic size uh, to the size of the platen of your press. So something smaller like the A to Z that you have, Jenna, on the 15 by 15, because this is a full size 16 by 20 platen, so it's a little bit bigger. You probably fit those hoodies without needing to use a mouse pad um, or any additional platens on something like your A to Z. But I am super excited to see what you're going to do. Jenna, you go ahead and, uh, and take it away. Awesome. Thank you. So I think one of the biggest takeaways from you showing us how to print some hoodies and speaking a little bit to some other really popular flea styles is really taking advantage of the real estate and all that those garments offer. Um, there are, you know, your standard um, prints for printing t-shirts. You can get a full front and back and a sleeve. But with hoodies, you get the additional hood, you get the pocket placement, you get the long sleeve print. And when we take advantage of those print locations, that not only is going to add more value to that piece, but it's just going to open up a, um, you know, a, a wider um, profit margin, right? Because now we're talking about instead of just paying for that standard full front placement, now we're able to build some more profit opportunity in those additional print locations so that we can build more profit opportunity into the overall piece. So that is why we talk about printing hoodies and other popular outerwear and apparel items like hoodies, right? They complement very well with t-shirts. And I did notice some comments and questions coming in on what's best for 100% cotton. 
Um, a lot of the heat transfers that you have seen today apply very well on hoodies and cotton poly blends, including fleece. So the goof proof that you see him, you saw uh, Dave demonstrate for us is going to work great for those items. Um, in addition to some of the other things that you are seeing here that I'm about to demonstrate on these accessories. All right. Absolutely. Now, Jenna, you mentioned profitability for a second, and I forgot to mention as we were printing that, if you didn't attend my uh, Easy View session earlier, all of those graphics came from one gang sheet. So building that profitability and you could decorate different products, but you could also decorate different locations on the same product for the same low cost price of printing just one of these gang sheets. So it is, it is really, it's, it's just so great to, to offer as any t-shirt business. Yeah. And one thing that I really love about those gang sheets is as you're building them in the easy view designer, it gives you that price breakdown too. Uh, that way you can kind of gauge, you know, if you're, if you're putting multiples of those prints on apparel, you know, how much profit you're really looking at. And um, now that goes with saying, you know, as Dave mentioned, um, hoodies and other outerwear pieces are more premium um, and they are pricier than a t-shirt, of course. But when you're looking at those items, those are products that people are also willing to pay more for because they're getting more out of that than just a standard t-shirt. So, um, you know, you know, your demographic best definitely charge within your range, but just know you can add those additional things to build more profit opportunity. And that pairs very nicely into accessories as well. So Dave showed you a variety of different um, next level garments that you can print. Now let's talk about some accessories that you can also pair with these t-shirts and with these hoodies to upsell and really just position your business as a one-stop shop. Um, that's really important because once you have um, selected your market, really honed in on who your customer type is, you really at that point want to practice, you know, what your, your target is going to be in the variety of products that you can offer. So being able to, um, get an all-encompassing um, type of product offering out there really is going to speak well to these customers and build your brand um, in a valuable way, All right. So with a heat press, this is all capable. So we've done t-shirts, we've done hoodies, we've seen other fleece styles. Now these accessories are really great add-ons to either package with those products or sell individually but really just add another revenue stream and other custom products that you can print for your customers. So the first um, accessory that I'm going to show you, I think that this is a really great crossover. Um, it's actually a sweatshirt cinch bag. So I'm going to hold that up. This is sourced um, from Transfer Express Apparel, so you can get it right um, from their catalog online. Um, and it has this little pocket seam structure. And I absolutely love this uh, for those of you that just want kind of that crossover product that you know is going to apply very well. It literally feels just like a hoodie, but it has this cinch bag and um, really sells very well. This is a very popular piece. I decorated it a lot at trade shows and some of our in-person education classes and people just love this style. So I wanted to show you guys that now, Dave did mention an accessory that you can use with screen print transfers, and we highly recommend using those mouse pads and those print perfect pads for screen print transfers. But if you're working with heat transfer vinyl, you have the ability to use a heat press pillow. All right, so this pillow is a foam pad that is covered in that non-stick carrier, right? So it has that, um, that slippery type of material so that it can thread in and out of different accessories and garments. So I'm just going to insert this into this bag. And the reason that we want to do that is because of the same reason that we did with the hoodie. We want to get any thick seams, um, such as the thick seam of where this cinch is drawn through, um, or that, that cord is drawn through for that cinch. And then also this thick pocket that we have at the bottom. All right, so my print area is going to be just above that pocket. And what this heat pillow is, heat press pillow is going to do 
is allow me to isolate my print area and get it nice and flat so that I have an even pressure. But also it's gonna let this seam down here that could cause uneven pressure sink down into the pillow, but still keep my print area raised. That is why these heat press accessories are so important. Apologies. Um, that is why these heat press accessories are so important because they allow you to isolate print areas in areas that you couldn't necessarily do with just your standard ply. All right, so we have our um, we have our print location isolated here. First things first, Dave demonstrated this with the hoodie. We need to pre-press. That is going to allow us to test our pressure and also release any moisture in the fabric. Now, this is a 100% cotton on the outside layer. It, layer, it is fleece in lined, uh, but we're not pressing on the fleece, so it's okay. Um, but we are going to dial back our pressure because we did insert that heat press pillow there. And we are working with a product that actually applies at a fairly light pressure. All right, so the product that we are going to apply is adhesive. And then we are going to put the foil over top. Now, I absolutely love showing this product um, to people that are getting started with heat transfer vinyl and other special effect products because it is so unique and there is just so much opportunity with it. Um, especially if you're reaching those demographics that love bling and metallic finishes, uh, spirit wear, dancers, cheerleaders, whatever it may be, uh, very popular in retail. So this is a two-step application. We are going to take our CAD cut adhesive. This is a heat transfer vinyl that applies um, let me adjust my pillow here slightly. Uh, that applies at a light pressure. And how it works is it, it's almost like a double-sided adhesive. It has a permanent adhesive on the side that applies to the substrate, which would be my cinch bag here. And then it has a second adhesive on the top that allows us to put foil onto that, right? So, with our heat transfer vinyl, we always recommend using a cover sheet. So I'm going to cover my transfer there and I'm going to apply this for its recommended time, temperature, and pressure. All right, so this particular transfer that I am applying with you guys today is a product that is within the stalls marketing kit. All right, so if you guys want to start with samples, um, this is a, a great way to do it. And this adhesive and foil sample is in that kit. So you guys will be able to work with it. All right, so adhesive is a hot peel. So I am just carefully removing that carrier that the adhesive is laminated to. And the reason I carefully do that is because it is a very thin product. And we're working with heat transfer vinyl, we love to have a thin product because it's gonna feel very soft and nice on the apparel that you're printing it onto. But um, if I were to just rip it, it could distort it a little bit because it is so thin and it is still hot. So we didn't make sure that we are, um, you know, just removing that carrier nice and slow. Now we are going to take our foil and we are going to place this down so that the silver side is face down and the color of my foil is faced up, right? So we are going to lay that right over top of the adhesive. And I'm gonna be sure to cover with a cover sheet. And now we are going to apply the foil for its full time and temperature, but we are going to increase our pressure to a nice firm pressure, right? So I'm going to turn that uh, pressure knob um, two times, and I'm going to get real close to that nice firm pressure that we need. And the heat press is going to do the rest of the work for me. So as soon as I hear that beep, I'm going to lift up my upper platen and the foil is a cold peel. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this heat press pillow because it's nice and hot from that heat. And I'm going to let this cool down. Now, if I do want to speed up this process, one thing I can do is just place this on a nice cool surface. So I have a window next to me. So I'm just gonna touch it up against that window for just a few seconds. And that is going to release the heat so that I can now remove my foil. 
And you can see as I'm removing this, it has completely transferred from the foil sheet over to the adhesive, right? So you can see that void area there, right? So now we have a completed custom cinch bag that's just as easy to heat press as is a hoodie, as is a t-shirt. So I can do this same exact process on a t-shirt, on a hoodie, and um, you know, still get this premium finish. But the only thing I had to do differently was just use a heat press pillow. All right, so that's really the only difference um, in application here and in steps that it took for me to uh, be able to apply this and ensure that I'm getting a nice, accurate pressure and just application overall. All right, so that is a cinch bag. And as we mentioned, there are a lot of popular accessories out there. Another really great accessory that we highly recommend uh, printing for your customers in addition to cinch bags is backpacks, lunch bags, coolers, can koozie. So uh, I'm gonna show you one more application, one that's a little bit more next level than just a standard cotton cinch bag because I don't want you guys to steer away from printing some more of those premium fabrics. The same way we talked about this with t-shirts, we went from cotton to um, popular retail and then premium performance, all right? So there are levels to different accessories out there as well, just like there is t-shirts and just like there is hoodies as Dave went through with you guys. So another, um, you know, popular bag style is this, I want to say it's a lot, no, it's a cooler. All right. So it's a cooler. Um, and it has that popular like fashion forward camo print on it. Uh, but what we want to focus on is just this flap here. And one thing that I love about transfer express apparel and SNS activewear and all of those, um, apparel manufacturers out there is that they're always thinking about the decorator. They take into consideration that these are going to be printed with designs and logos. And so they always consider how to best set up the printer for success. So whether you are embroidering, screen printing, or heat pressing, there is always going to be a print area. And I love that they have set up uh, set us up for success here by just having this flap with no pockets or any additional structure in here that could cause for this to go haywire. All right, so all I have to do here is place this flap right on the bottom platen here. You don't have to worry about interchanging my platen. The only thing that I'm going to utilize is this Print Perfect pad. And the reason I'm using this Print Perfect pad is because there is a little Velcro attachment that is sewn on the inside that could potentially cause an uneven pressure. And then there is kind of like a, um, a jersey seam here that goes right above um, that color block piece that is at the bottom of that. So I'm gonna use this Print Perfect pad to raise my print area. And I'm gonna go through those same steps that we have gone through for every application that we have done today. We load on our garment, we do a preheat so that we can test our pressure and prep our garment to release any moisture or wrinkles. And then we're going to apply our transfer. All right, so the transfer that I am using for this product is called Texture Twill. So this is a heat transfer that has a permanent adhesive on the back, just like all the other heat transfers we've shown you today, but it is a twill finish and it does have kind of like this texture prism in it that is that, you know, classifies it as texture twill. So it gives you kind of like a metallic finish. Um, you can get these custom. All you have to do is upload your artwork to our artwork uploader, and then we will send you these ready to heat apply. So I'm just going to place that down right on that flap, and I'm going to apply it for its full time temperature and pressure, All right? And then my application will be complete. Um, I could be totally wrong, but I'm going to guess here on what this application is. Uh, but I promise if you guys do order transfers with us, I'm going to lock this down one more time. Um, you will have the application instructions with any transfer that you order. So you don't have to do any guesswork. 
I believe this applies for 25, 20 to 25 seconds. So that's why I locked it down for a second time. Right, but there is no carrier. So once that is complete, it is done. All right. So now we have a branded cooler. And if you guys are targeting local businesses in your area, local resorts, whatever it may be, this is a very premium product that really takes printing accessories like this to the next level and helps you build more value and profitability in just this piece. All right. So a lot of different things that you can do out there. Um, I really pull a lot of inspiration from Pinterest. Dave mentioned Etsy. There are people coming up with so many unique things that you can do uh, to offer your customers that's not the same as what they can go and buy at a local convenience store or a, like, around here. It's considered Walmart, right? So, you, you know, you want to be able to set yourself apart. So give them a good reason why they want to come to you. You're already printing custom products for them. That's a great reason, but you want to still offer a variety of different things um, so that you're setting yourself up for any other, um, setting yourself apart from any other competitor in your area. Now, if you guys are looking for more and more inspiration on different items that you can print, um, definitely subscribe to Make It Magazine. There are so many inspirational uh, things within these magazines, and we put these out quarterly. Uh, so for every season, we have this magazine. Uh, you can get the hard copy or you can get a digital copy, and we send you new ideas for that season and what you can be printing to offer your customers. So um, just know that with a heat press and all of the innovation um, that we have put into heat transfers and the heat presses, there's really not much you can't print. <laughs> that you is, <laughs> you, that, that's, that's, I mean, that, that's perfect. You summed it up absolutely perfectly. Um, and I love the Make It magazine. And I will say that when you were flashing that around, I don't know if you saw, but there's a whole bunch of holiday stuff. Um, and the holiday, yeah. as the holidays approach, is an awesome time for anybody with a heat press. And I have just a few items that I want to show as well uh, that kind of relate to the, I mean, the holidays are usually a great time to experiment with different items that you could sell. Uh, number one, they make awesome cost-effective gifts coming from yeah. you. So uh, you're doing for, you know, you give everybody in the family like a uh, a pillow, just like this one. Um, and just by, you know, the gang sheets are as low as six quantity if you're decorating with goof-proof transfers, just like how this one is. And now these pillows, you buy the pillowcase just from Amazon um, and then buy the pillow insert itself. This one we still have in the plastic. Of course, you could take the, the filling out or just buy the throw pillows that fit inside. But it's just so super easy. Exactly how we printed uh, either with the Print Perfect pad or a mouse pad or a smaller platen. Just thread this one right on or lay it over top. But pillows, a great way to do it. Um, also, I'm going to bend down because we have this whole tote bag. So this is awesome for, you know, gifts on Christmas morning or um, really anything around the house. If you want to customize it, even you'll see a lot of businesses or even if you want to uh, have one for your own shop to brand these. They're just awesome to not only sell at the vendor shows or craft fairs, but great gifts as well. There were I absolutely love and that. And the little uh, just taking embroidery hoops, some fabric here. Um, and this is just a goof proof transfer. Choose joy for a little holiday cheer. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're talking, there's so many things, so many accessories. This is my box of accessories. There's so <laughs> many you could print with custom transfers or vinyl, even if you're doing uh, uh, some felt decorations. Goof Proof works great on felt products. Just watch your heat to scorch them. Um, what else do I got here? I've got, uh, yeah, I showed the, the koozies. Koozies are a great, uh, going on with that camp theme that we had going on earlier, koozies are a great value add uh, to just give away for gifts or as add-ons. Uh, I know a few people who use them as freebies to throw in boxes because they just included a little logo on a gang sheet and they're able to just buy these. And it's that extra something that you could give to your customers when they open the box, something unexpected that shows that you care about them. 
Um, and then the last thing I'll show that's a little Christmassy is uh, oven mitts. Oven mitts too with transfers. They work fantastic and they look great. We got it double-sided. So either way that you're holding it, I don't know. <laughs> Might, might transfer it on one side. So only do one side. We just did two because we were so- I excited. just love your passion for that oven mitt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, that is such a great idea. On. I I think it, <laughs> it looks so great with the goop proof, but I'm also imagining like a special effect finish for Christmas, like with glitter or the pearl prints that you guys have or that Stalls Transfer Express offers. So a lot of great options out there. Um, but if anything, we hope we built some inspiration into this session for you. Of course, we want to set you guys up for success and getting started. The easiest way with custom products is with t-shirts. But if you are to that point where you're like, I want to offer more, or maybe eventually a light bulb will go off and be like, I remember Dave showing me how to print a hoodie three different ways, right? So there are just so many different options out there, um, but we definitely want to keep you guys inspired in how that you can make the most out of your side hustle or your full custom printing business um, and how heat printing can get you there. So before we wrap up, we have just under five minutes left. Kelly, are there any questions that we did not cover or you already answered for us? So I've been trying to answer them as you guys, I know you guys had a lot to get through, but um, there is one that I kind of wanted you both to touch on. There was a question with the flexible application pad. Is it compatible with heat transfers when printing on 100% polyester? So I, I answered this um, because obviously it pertains to the transfer that you're utilizing, not the material of the garment. But I think that also kind of goes into explaining when you would use like a cover sheet for, you know, maybe vinyl or the uh, textured twill, but you wouldn't for goof proof. Same thing for the upper platen cover. So, yeah, so yeah. I will say I use a lot. I use the flexible application pad a good bit if I am definitely worried about something um, potentially melting. Um, so if I have plastic buttons or zippers, or maybe I'm working with something that has um, faux leather on it. So there are a lot of tote bags that have like leather straps on them. And I'm worried about burning that. That is typically when I will use the flexible application pad. Um, folks have had success using heat transfer vinyl with a flexible application pad on polyester t-shirts, especially those Nike dry fits that just want to Porch, no matter what you do, especially those black ones, the darker colored <laughs> ones, man. <laughs> right. Yeah. They're, they can be a pain. Uh, polyester is not made the same for every brand. Um, and Nike and Under Armour are one of those, but, uh, yeah, if you want to use it for some of those higher end garments, understandable will work fine with vinyl, um, screen print transfers, Dave, I'm going to let you take that one. Yep. So Jenna, you touched on it that it does block the heat from getting to the garment, but always make sure you're checking the instructions for the transfer type that you are applying. So with a lot of our screen printed transfers, now I'm not gonna say all of our transfers because for uh, a lot of our cold peel transfers, we do recommend using a cover sheet when printing. And we will supply you with just a paper cover sheet so you don't have to worry about purchasing any extra accessory. But for something like our Goof Proof, it needs the high heat and it needs the pressure. So when you talk about using the flexible application pad over it to protect the garment, you are also blocking 10 to 15, sometimes depending on the thickness of them, up to 20 degrees of heat reaching that uh, actual you know, ink that's activated. So what we did here today was printing Goof Proof at the low end of application. So Goof Proof melts into the garment and adheres anywhere between 325 and 365 degrees. So if we were applying, say, on what you would be doing for a temperature-sensitive polyester, if we were applying at 325 and we put, uh, we blocked 20% or 20 degrees of heat, now that, that ink is not actually liquefying like it should, and while it may apply, it might also just completely wash off. So that's why we do not recommend using any craft paper, uh, the non-stick or even those flexible application pads with any of our actual screen printed transfers. 
But like I said, always defer to your instructions because we do offer our full color products uh, and the ultra color soft and ultra color stretch line uh, of transfers that you received if you did buy one of the marketing kits. It's an absolutely awesome product, but it comes on a plastic carrier and a cold peel. So that cover sheet, not necessarily there for blocking the heat, but reducing the static buildup that you'll get from the top platen touching like a plastic carrier, where especially on an auto clam like this, when it opens, it'll pull and it could pull uh, the carrier off prematurely while it's still hot. That was long-winded, so I, I apologize. <laughs> no, it makes total sense. So thank you for covering that. I would not have been able to answer that as well as you did. So <laughs> great job. Um, but that completes this session. Up next, we have Dane the artwork guru who is going to walk you guys through some awesome artwork setup. Uh, so stick around for that. And of course, we do have our happy after hours where we are going to answer any of your questions and just hang out with you guys and uh, talk more as we wrap up the event. And all of the experts that you met today will be there. Uh, so definitely be sure to stick around. Thank you for those of you that have stuck around with us. It has been a very busy day, but an exciting one. And Dave, it was awesome coming on live with you and presenting with you on this topic. Absolutely. Always a pleasure, Jenna. And thank you guys again so much uh, for attending. And I really hope that uh, you'll join us for the Q&A. Any question on the table, heat pressing or anything else, just let us know. Um, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you guys. So uh, if you think of anything it, during Dane's class, just write it down and join the Q&A happy hour and we are more than happy to interact with you guys.